Hello there, welcome to episode 11 of my vanilla Arcanexus gameplay series for RimWorld. So today we are going to experience, hopefully, the completion of this fortress. I really hope that we're going to get the last pieces of wall done. We're going to finish the apartments after that. That's a big plan for today because I really want to have more facilities going. We also are, after that, really much bound for the construction of defenses. It's about time that we think about constructing a proper kill box and stuff. I mean, I'm not that much of a power gamer, but we need a little bit of a defense line here, at the very least. We have new in our colony, Lissa the Crafter. She is a insanely well... Um, skilled crafter she's just amazing and she happens to be a pretty good shot too we just need something to shoot for her at the very least as the last thing that is worth mentioning for before we begin with today's episode we have now a new ideologian we got we got uh no longer the wavy and legion as our main thing we are now humanitism humanitists yes and we want to be transhumanists so that's going to be exciting i think so, quick pointer down there to the comment section, you'll find my Let's Play gaming channel there. It only requires more subscribers before I'll be putting up more gameplay sessions there than ever. So, help me so I can help you. Now, Snuff and Huntsman are getting the job done fast enough, I'd say. We do run out of limestone blocks though, but I think, yeah, ever so slightly. We just need to hold up a few more of these. Right now, there is not much work to be done for Lissa, and I actually appreciate the fact that she's right now sweeping the place. It's really pretty good for us. I will, though... Uh, well, I'm, a, I'm somewhat tempted to put her up into construction work as well, because she happens to be a fast learner, so she would be really, really quickly up to the task. So, we also need to store our cycoid leaves in the freezer and that is now once and for all the point where we really need to expand this little bad boy here so we're going to go on like this this wall will be removed then we're going to put up yeah well let's do that first granite oh Granite is not a good material. We don't uh, have native granite here. That's a bad choice. Let's go for marble, I think. It's not really much of a uh, main defense line or anything, so... It'll make everything look nice and motley, that's for sure. Okay, so far, so good. Let's research machining next. This will bring us more and more crafting tables that we cannot use right now, but you know, ah yeah, the storage of the cycloid leaves. So I want these here in the freezer as well. But I don't know how many of these we will actually be storing here, but yeah. Brewing that stuff into tea is now one of my really important tasks as well because my man Snuff needs that stuff. Otherwise, he'll be dead. That would be really, really sad. I took a lot of work and effort in converting this guy, so... All right, we're heading into the next winter of ours, so... Really curious to see where that'll end. Last winter was really mild and not too much of uh, big trouble. So, really wonder how this one will be. New lovers, Huntsman and Lissa. Nice. So, we're going to get ourselves a bigger bed going. All right. And there goes the marble tile. Get the doorsteps, or I'll hate it. There we go. Really hope that I'm going to be able to give myself a dedicated cook one day. Huntsman has just been stretched thin. 
with that task constantly. It's not really good for him. There, he's now cooking again. It's just, uh, you know, we can cancel these harvesting commands now. There's absolutely no need to uh, lower my yield now. This stuff, by the way, is not only uh, lifeblood for our men stuff, it's also a, our first uh, trade commodity that we get our hands on in a larger scale, so it's also a very, very attractive aspect about that. Oh, well. Good. That part of the wall, that part of the wall, nice. We're getting somewhere. Yeah. I really gotta say, Huntsman just has too many jobs. It's not good for him. I think we're going to make uh, Lissa now the cook. I hope she won't be food poisoning too many of us until she's decent at that job, but it'll free a Huntsman's time schedule up so much when he's not uh, scurrying back and forth or cooking jobs. I think that will be really a big advantage there. Snuff is passionate about cooking, but due to the fact that he's a waster, we we don't even need to consider that. He'll be really bad at that for a very, very long time, and I'm not down for consequences of that. Okay, beautiful. My little donkey farm is coming together. So we can even do trade at some point in a realistic manner. So, since steel now is no longer such a um, scarce resource, we can put in some lighting here. Major break risk on stuff. Trauma, man. Oh, no recent conquest. Yeah, it's about time that we start... Um, yeah, stuff. You know, it's about time that we think about things here, you know, like hierarchies and such. Okay, where is it now? Assign role. So Huntsman is going to be priest, eh? Wait a sec. Production command. No. We need at least, we need more humanitors before we can do that, but uh, yeah, whatever. It will work. Um, not much relying on snuff right now. Are you saying that I cannot imprison this guy because that's actually modded content? Oh my god. I had no clue. So... I cannot just convert him if I'm playing vanilla. That must be part of the Achtung mod that you can just put people into a prison cell and uh... So I have to wait until Snuff is uh, breaking down I think uh, before I can do that or... Ah no, we just need to draft the person first. Okay, I'm relieved. I actually thought uh, it would be that terrible. So, there we go. Snuff, it's about time to get converted. So, we're going to do that, you know. We're going to go for humanitism. And we're going to put you two guys into wardening. Mm -hmm. She sucks at social, but, uh, you know, she's a fast learner. And I need somebody at that job sooner or later. And I don't think that Snuff's good at that job. Well, he's at social three, but you get the idea. All right. It's just until you are converted, man. Sorry. Really hope that we're going to get through this. I mean, worst case scenario, I need to release him until um, next time. Yeah, just as I had expected, the moment I put up a different work order, I... I lose Huntsman's uh, interest in building that wall. So we just have to force him like that. So I'm holding down left shift in case you're wondering while I'm doing this. Otherwise I 
wouldn't be able to convince him. Usually I use Achtung as a mod to automate that, but you know, if I say I'm playing vanilla, I am playing vanilla, right? So we're going to finish the rest of the wall tomorrow. Don't want to put Huntsman to, uh, through too much of stress. It's already a lot of uh, what I'm asking from, from him here. All right. There we go. But I just want that wall to be done finally for good, you know. So I really hope that we're going to be able to grind through his uh, ideology. Because it's really, it's really bad if you have somebody who constantly wants to raid. With the transhumanism, we can at least set up a uh, some some fancy high tech thingies, and then things will be better. Although I gotta say, I'm I'm really pissed in to some degree that uh, I I got the transhumanism again. I intentionally try to avoid that this time, you know. <laughs> That's uh, actually fun that it comes that that gets back at me like that, because my first attempt when I tried to do the Archinexus ending, I went for transhumanism intentionally, and I really I, I really did fail quite horribly at that. So I think it is uh, a grim sense of humor of Randy's that he puts me now up with that transhumanism ideology. Thank you, man. Thank you. Only the best from my man, Randy. But at least I can now say we can hide behind the walls, well, to some degree. So it is now time to think about uh, the actual defenses. So I do, cons I do see this, pat this patch of sweet, sweet, soft sand. I can but uh, incorporate that into my defensive design. So, however it'll work, it'll incorporate that patch of soft sand. You know what, we're, uh, we actually do. This is basically a, a natural, um, a natural obstacle, you know. Which attackers will always uh, struggle with. So, basically... I think we're going to narrow it down something like that. And then we'll be fighting out of that area. Kill people here. But then again... Nah, it doesn't, uh, doesn't really work. It's not really getting any better through that. So, wait a sec. Before I go too far into one direction here... I'm not sure where where this will take me. I am quite sure that we're going to take these walls like that, but I want to have a uh, long think between the episodes about where I'll be putting these. Damn, that sad wonder from Snuff. Yeah, we're going to get him. Uh, through his base of miserism. Hospitality for an ally. So we can get ourselves Kelly, the quack. Great memory, recluse, teetotaler, no. Definitely a no. Psychic sooth pauser. Pretty good stuff, honestly. Yeah, come on in. That Psychic Sooth Pauser is actually a really, really good reward. Because it is pretty good if we are ever in a bigger crisis. You can't just pop that thing to get some good moods. This is really good, you know? There are situations in RimWorld where an effect like that can be absolutely invaluable. All right, so we got ourselves a new squatter here. His name's Bowser. What a name. So Bowser, you can... You can have that 
bed here. Okay. So Huntsman is constructing the the expansion of the freezer. Beautiful. It's going to be a bigger operation though. I also need more um, coolers. I also need more power. So it's about time that we go for steel gathering yet again. Hey, I already ordered some mining here. So yeah, we're uh, we're grinding away on a certainty. Nice. It'll take a couple of days. It's very, very annoying to do this. I'm not enjoying this at all. But I also consider it a, 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 some sort of a necessary evil, okay? Cannot really skip it. But I need these breakdowns because of no conquest to stop. It's nonsense. We're not gonna play like that this run. I'm not gonna take that invitation at least. Although, on a side note, when you're living that far in the desert like I do, we actually would be able to pull it off quite decently because we do have um, good ways and means of traveling. The donkeys, as a matter of fact, would be also pretty good for raiding if we'd be into that. So, yeah, just a couple of thoughts. Now then, we're going to deconstruct those chunks for the components that we require. Yeah, here we really, really feel the low social skill, the catastrophes from the beginning of the story, and the fact that I don't have a priest, all these things right now, you really notice that. Converting snuff takes literally forever, but whatever, we, we're gonna get there, so. I'm just impatient, admittedly. So let's see. Can we actually... Oh yeah, for a conversion ritual you need a uh, priest. So we cannot even convert the guy, because we cannot announce a priest, because we don't have free humanitists on us, so... It's all a little bit complicated. But apart from that, the colony is stable for the moment, and we are getting along here. The only thing that I really hate about the system is that Trying to convert somebody doesn't yield social experience. I hated that this isn't fixed in, uh, until the very day now, because I feel as if this this cannot be the intention of the devs. I I just feel as if this is uh, I I don't want to accept that. It sounds stupid, you know. But well, currently we just have to accept that things are as they are. So, all right, Bowser uh, is chilling out over here and we got ourselves the expansion for the freezer constructed. So I'm going to pull that thing off like that. We're also going to go for the freezer that should resist a uh, heat wave, or at least sort of. Probably we need more than th just three coolers in that case, but well, I'm gonna try if I can get away with that low amount. All right, we also do require solar panels, but now I want to think a little bit more. I did place down the first two wind turbines a little bit uh, because, you know, this is not really a good spot for the turbines. We cannot defend it too well, and it's very close to the entrance of the base after all. I mean, I could have gone and... Uh, relocated the entrance but whatever it is as it is now i don't think it's too much of a big deal we are going to put down now solar panels in areas that we can defend well that's the gist of it so i want to have two solar panels here that also means we need new power conduits everywhere those suckers are now making the entire colony ugly, but that's the price we pay for power supply. So let's see, did we already deconstruct the chunks? No, we didn't, all right. There we go. I do construct extra solar panels now because what we're doing will make the 
our consumption of our base go really upwards. We'll be spending a lot more hour now to keep this place cool. Although, the good news is it is probably the best time of the year because it is nowadays pretty cold outside. I actually should consider setting up a heater on this side of the, uh, of the living block as well. So we have rather low temperatures, but we have a couple of uh, warmer rooms. Oh, Snuff, are you actually comfortable to minus 20 and uh, minus 49 Celsius? So not a big deal. All right. So, I'm very impatient, I know. We're finally below 70, uh, below 80. Ah, uh, well, really have a hard time deciding, so I'm even cancelling that one now. I mean, we are out of limestone blocks right now, again. So, it's a wholesome chunk. I'm very happy that we got Lissa among us. She's a very, very powerful add-on for our colony. The only problem is I just realized that I, uh, that snuff is also my miner. But we, we gotta see this through now. We will get ourselves steel from the deconstructions as well. Let's see how far we can get with that. There's a entire um, area that we can. Let's see. We're cutting the plants. So. That's a very small case of blight. Would say we got away very, very lucky with that incident. I expected way worse, honestly. Transport pod crash. So, probably a new person. C. Tasco. Incapable of caring. Well, I don't have any problem with that. Skill mix? Good fighter. I always can use good fighters. Smoke cleave dependence. Well, that's not really a big problem because they can get rid of that quite quickly. Jogger is also an amazing trait. And uh, you just want to have a really impressive bedroom. I think it would be foolish to turn down this uh, person here. But we're not going to capture her. We're just going to rescue her. Prime festival opportunity. Animists. Well don't have any animists here anymore so my stockpiles of herbal meds actually really went up and stuff is staying inside forever now sucks but whatever there's always some issue with that so Isa is, well, I don't care. Isa is going to go for the mining job too. See, Tasco died from hypothermia. Oh, damn. I didn't pay attention to that. Oh, I feel bad about that. Oh. Can't change it. It is as it is now. You don't really notice that winter until it uh, smacks somebody. So here we have another um, stroke of genius from the AI here. So basically, Huntsman is trying to build a piece of conduit whenever he sees a scrap of steel. It's making him act highly inefficient. So I'm stringing up that chain of tasks for him so he can actually do his job. 
So just when I thought things were going great here, we have a streak of food poisoning. We have somebody freezing to death that we actually wanted to save. It's really sad. So an iguana has self-tamed. All right, that iguana checked out that we have all the hot dudes here. Dromedaries. Hmm. That's actually quite appealing. All right, so we really need the heater and everything. Yeah, well. So it's a lot of a it's a lot colder this year's uh, in, in this year's winter, but I am not too worried in all honesty. So we have a short case of power outage, but well. Yeah, so, while Lissa is still learning the ropes of cooking, she's uh, gifting people now with uh, nice, painful cramps in the bowels. She just knows what's good for us. Well, we're gonna get through this phase, you know. Could give, give away one colonist for a reinforced barrel. Hmm. Well, since I don't have mortar technology right now, it's only half as interesting as it sounds. So, let's see. How are we progressing? Gosh, almost not. Yeah, that's converting with uh, social ineptitude. It's just a nightmare. And this guy keeps uh, on breaking down. Mostly because he... He needs those raids. It sucks, but it is as it is. The good thing is we can, from time to time, administer some uh, some tea. So, oh boy. Advent of humanity. So, we... should totally try that. It'll suck, I bet. We don't have a disco ball. Boring. Even mine is one mood. Jeez. Why are they so harsh on me? All right, the pukies are back in town. But I mean, due to the fact that she's a fast learner, she'll be getting this done even if she has no passion for that. Not the ideal candidate, I admit. But I really think that it is one of the smartest choices for us. There we go. So now we can rip out these walls and expand the freezer. So it will be no longer any problem to expand our food stockpiles. That's a good thing. So. There we go. Let's make sure that we're hauling them components. Steel doesn't deteriorate out there. Steel uh, is really permanent, but components are not. So, <laughs> check out that naughty little iguana. I need to do that, something about that. This is not good. So the iguana are not allowed in the kitchen. That is a no-no. They're also not allowed in the freezer. I think I need to exclude this room here in, uh, in total. There we go. Okay, so... Hmm. More incompetency of the cook. Jeez. This is always making me nervous. Because that always means that we're just one severe raid away from being in trouble. So, another transport pod crash. Don't in I don't know. Not an Itakin. I dislike these quite a lot. These skulls still haven't deteriorated. Damn. I feel as if they are looking back at me since the entire I don't know how long. 
seasons here. So Isa, yeah, she's uh, hiding in a room now. Because she's no longer able to take that. Horrible food Lissa keeps putting out. Everybody by now is uh, suffering from cramps. Oh boy. This is really, really nasty. The good thing is with the next uh, Psychoid Leaf Harvest, we are going to give Isa, uh, oh no, Lissa so much uh, opportunity for training that we'll get her somewhere. So currently we're lacking steel. Mm. Yeah. Everybody's uh, living in nice green rooms. Yeah, so plants are dying outside because it's too cold. It's very sad. So the psychoid harvest might be actually in danger. Huntsman needs rescue. Malnutrition? Ah, yeah, of course. If you're, uh... If you are in food poisoning, these things can happen. Of course, of course. So... We're going to put up a harvesting uh, command on that zone here. Because I figured that it is too important now. Okay, my good friends, that is quite a winter, hey? It's not a go a going as well as I'd like it to. We are currently in a shortage of many things. I probably didn't choose the best moment for the conversion of snuff, but I feel now I am already on the way with that, so we're going to pull with that. So thanks so much for watching. Drop me your comments down below. I am all ears and eager to hear what you guys have to say as usual leave me a thumbs up or a consider to subscribe i also would be super happy if you'd check out patreon paypal or buy me a coffee these are really really cool ways to support me and yeah it would really really be a big and pleasant surprise for me that all being said, I hope you have a great time, hope you have a great day, and we're going to see us next time when I really hope that we're going to get through with this somehow, and these guys are actually not capable of sleeping in the same bed. Well, see you guys next time.